When an elevated bridge was first being planned, one of the earliest ideas was to place its support pier right in the middle of the traffic lane. On paper, it seemed simple, but once tested, it immediately cut into valuable roadway space and made the lanes noticeably tighter. A seemingly easy fix was to shift the pier into the landscaped median, but that change came with a new problem of its own. Extending the cantilevered beam to reach the relocated pier gradually introduced long-term structural risks. Another idea was to thicken the bridge deck to reduce bending and prevent cracks. The downside? That approach increased construction costs several times over. There was also an attempt to add more support columns to boost load capacity, but the extra piers still led to unnecessary expenses. Eventually, the pier was moved back to its most effective position, restoring the bridge's optimal load distribution point. From there, the pier was reshaped into a smooth arch and directly connected to the girder above. By doing this, the pier and the beam began sharing their forces, working together as a single structural system that stabilizes the entire bridge. This arched pier configuration ultimately created a structure that performs more efficiently, remains more stable, and saves both space and cost.